The Keith Cemetery is nestled on a hillside at the end of County Road 650 in northwestern Iron County on what was once part of the Pete Keith Farm. One of the people believed to be buried there is Elizabeth Counts. During her lifetime, Elizabeth had three husbands and, amazingly enough, she is my fourth great-grandmother on my father's side of the family with her first husband and is my third great-grandmother on my mother's side of the family with her second husband. Yes, if you do genealogical research long enough, you'll find places where your tree doesn't fork. In case you're wondering, the exact relationship between my parents, besides being husband and wife, is one half third cousins once removed. Our story starts with Elizabeth's first marriage to Emerson Brewer. One of their children was Melissa Ann Brewer, who married James Wilhite. Moving forward, one of their children was Mary Lucinda Wilhite, who married John Beers. Another generation along, one of their children, Fanny Beers, married Thomas Johnston. Together they would have two children, Hattie and Fred. Hattie, my grandmother on my father's side of the family, married James Harrison Abney, my grandfather, on 28 March 1917. Hattie and Harrison had four children, Dolly, Helen, John, and Leon. My dad's World War II service photo is shown here, followed by a photo of yours truly. Counting back through the generations then, on my father's side of the family, Elizabeth Counts Brewer was my great, 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 great grandmother. After Emerson Brewer's death, Elizabeth married William Keith on 9 April 1834. They would have three children together before, as family legend goes, William left for the gold fields of California in 1849, never to be heard from again. One of these children was James Peter Keith. James Peter Keith married three times and had a total of seven children. One of the children of his marriage with Mariah J. McLean was Nancy Elizabeth Keith, who married Jacob Jake Albert Midget. While Nancy would die young, her marriage to Jake produced six children, including my grandmother, Clara Midget. Jake later married May Reed. Clara married Tommy Wilson, and one of their children is my mother, Eula Mae Wilson, who married my father on July 6, 1950. So, counting back through the generations on my mother's side of the family, Elizabeth Counts Keith was my great-great-great-grandmother. If that wasn't confusing enough, Elizabeth had a third husband, Andrew Woodruff, whom she married in 1858. They had no children together, but if you look at the line of descendants from Andrew and his first wife, Mary Smith, you will see that six generations down the line, one of those descendants is my first wife, Teresa Katie Green. If you take anything away from this short family history, I hope it's the fact that every tombstone and every cemetery represents a person with a story waiting to be told. While the person buried there is no longer with us, their story is just waiting to be discovered. <laughs>